Hey, what's good guys? It's Zach. Hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a few accessories that I recommend for the Nintendo Switch. Of course, as you guys know, this came out just a little while ago as of the recording of this video. But there are quite a few accessories out there, and uh, out of the ones out there, these are the ones that I recommend for your Nintendo Switch. I'll list all of them down below in the description, so make sure you check them out. But other than that, let's go ahead and get right into the first product. All right, so this first product is pretty mandatory in my opinion, and that's a tempered glass screen protector. This one here is from Anchor. This is the Anchor Glass Guard, and the reason why I recommend this is not only will it protect your Nintendo Switch from scratches, you know it's a touch screen, when more games come out you're probably going to be touching the screen even more, but it'll also protect your Switch from drops. I actually have one applied to my Switch right now, you probably can't see it, but I will place in a clip of it applied to my Nintendo Switch. So with the screen protector being tempered glass, like I said, not only will it protect against scratches, but it'll also protect against drops. So if you happen to drop your Switch on the ground or something like that, or you happen to drop something on the Switch, it'll break the glass of the screen protector first before it even touches the actual display. So I highly recommend that you pick up a couple of these. They actually come with two in each box and they do come with whatever you need to get started. Playing it is super easy. Just make sure that your screen is perfectly clean. Just line up the screen protector. It does have cutouts for the speakers. And after that, you're good to go. Now, one thing I did forget to mention is that the Nintendo Switch dock, if you're planning on playing at home and on the go a lot, you're going to be taking this thing in and out of the dock quite a bit. So in the dock, it actually has little plastic ridges in there. Not sure if you can really see that, but sliding this in there, can actually scratch up the display and already there have been multiple reports of people getting their displays scratched up of course it's not on the actual screen it's more on the side bezel but uh, scratches are scratches and uh, this screen protector will of course protect perfectly against that all right so the next thing that I recommend you guys pick up for this is some portable power you want to keep your Nintendo switch running for as long as possible so if you plan on taking this thing wherever you go you're gonna want to keep this thing juiced up as you guys already know it has a USB type C port on the bottom and it can be charged by power banks now the one that I've been using also also comes from Anchor and this is the PowerCore Plus 20100 so you've got a lot of juice here and just like the Nintendo Switch it has USB Type-C. So not only is this port ready to charge your Nintendo Switch you can actually recharge the power bank via this same port so it's a very versatile power bank and of course you can actually charge your phones or your tablet with this as well it's got plenty of juice it's built very very well it's got a very nice aluminum construction and it's not that big it's not the big perfect size for your backpack now as for what this guy comes with it comes with three cables here it's got usb type c to usb type c it's got type c to type a and it also has type a to micro usb so out of the box you do have a lot of cables but I would also recommend picking up these cables. I use these every single day, and this is Anchor's Powerline Plus. They do come with their protective covers, which is really nice and all. I actually don't really use them that much because the cables are incredibly strong. They do have a couple different types of coating here, of one of which is the nylon braiding that you can probably see in this clip right here. Now, I've been using Anchor cables for years, and I've never had to replace them. They are incredibly strong, and the Powerline Plus is no exception. So this one right here is USB Type-C to USB Type-C. So I can plug it right into this power bank and plug the other end right into the bottom of the switch and just start charging. Now the great thing about this is that it actually charges, it delivers power while you're playing a game. So you don't have to sit and wait for it to actually charge. You can play while this is plugged in. I have tested it and there are some sources online that say that this will increase the battery percentage while playing a game. So this is definitely an essential, uh, especially when you're traveling with your Nintendo Switch. And the last thing about this power bank, since it does have an aluminum construction, you're gonna wanna keep it safe while traveling. This is actually my second one and it's in brand new perfect condition. My first one, it's actually all beat up and scratched. Uh, so I probably should have used this. This does come in the box. This is just a little pouch that you can stick the power bank in and prevent it from scratches. Perfect for traveling with your Nintendo Switch. <clears throat> Pardon me for interrupting myself, but this was actually the point in the video where I was supposed to mention a giveaway I'm doing with Anchor. So in this giveaway, we will be giving away three of these power banks and three of these glass guards. So if you have a Nintendo Switch or you're planning on getting one very soon, then this is definitely something that you want to enter. The giveaway will be open to the the US, the UK, Germany, France, Italy, Japan, Spain, and Canada. All you have to do is drop a comment down below letting me know your favorite thing about the Nintendo Switch, and I will be choosing three winners in two weeks. So there you go, there's your chance to win some really awesome products. And now, back to myself. All right, so next up, we have a stand. And as you probably already know, the Nintendo Switch does have a built-in stand. But as you also probably already know, it only provides one viewing angle, and it's also not the sturdiest thing uh, in the world. It actually does snap off, and you can snap it back on. I think Nintendo designed that specifically to do that, but it's not the best thing in the world. Yeah, sure, it'll, it'll prop it up in a pinch, but at the end of the day, especially when you're playing with two players, you're going to want this thing to have some nice viewing angles. So with this, the Satachi R1, which I've had for quite a while, I love this thing, 
uh, this is going to enhance your viewing angles with the Nintendo Switch. So when you want to play the Nintendo Switch and you want it to be at a specific viewing angle, let's go ahead and take out the Joy-Cons here, you can place it right here on the stand and it's very, very sturdy. Now this thing is actually made for bigger tablets, but of course you can use it with smaller tablets as well. This is kind of like the size of a seven inch tablet, right? Or a large phone nowadays. And you can actually prop it up and you can adjust the viewing angles however you want. It's very, very sturdy. So you don't have to worry about this thing tipping over and it's made with premium materials. So this thing is gonna last for a very long time. So if I just wanted to play a quick game while I'm on the go, I can pull the stand out of my backpack. It actually does have a protective cover, which I misplaced unfortunately. But with this stand, I can thankfully adjust the angles very very easily and it's a very reassuring movement it doesn't feel like the whole thing is gonna snap or anything like that it's very very premium now the sad thing about the stand is it's actually not in stock right now on Amazon it was a little while ago but now as of the recording of this video it's not so I'm hoping that it'll be in stock because this is the best tablet stand that I've ever seen so in place of this I'll actually link you to one by Hori it only costs about $13 and it's got a five-star rating on Amazon only problem with that one is it doesn't ship for another two to four weeks so I I can't even get my hands on that one but definitely keep an eye on the listing for the Satachi R1 it is the best stand that I've ever used and it's perfect for the Nintendo Switch. All right, so closing out the list is some expandable storage. As you can see here, this is a micro SD card. In fact, you can barely see that. So check that out. That is a micro SD card. This is 128 gigabytes in the palm of my hand. And this isn't even the biggest storage that you can get. You can actually get 200 gigabytes or you can even get 256 gigabytes on a micro SD card nowadays. And that's just insane. But I decided to recommend the 128 gigabyte one because it is actually under $50. Uh, as of right now, you can grab it for about four and it will greatly expand the storage of your Nintendo Switch. Now games like Breath of the Wild, for example, are about 13 to 14 gigabytes. They can take up storage very easily. So as time goes on and more games come out, you're gonna need more storage. So this is a great way to future-proof your Nintendo Switch as far as storage goes. So I highly recommend picking one of these up right now. So when putting this video together, I actually originally planned to feature some sort of carrying case or protective cover for the Nintendo Switch. And there are quite a few on Amazon right now. Some even have a Legend of Zelda theme, a Super Mario theme. Now, the one that I would personally try out, unfortunately, I don't have it right now. It's about $23. It's from Butterfox on Amazon. It has a four and a half out of five star rating. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. But uh, that, unfortunately, does not carry everything. So if you wanted to go to a friend's house for the weekend, for example, or you're just traveling uh, and you do plan on playing this on a TV, you're going to need to carry your dock around with you. Now, the first thing that comes to mind is this. I, I think this is some sort of officially licensed case. Yes, it is officially licensed case, but it costs $60 and it's not even ready as of the recording of this video, but I actually saw this I've actually had this for a while This is an Amazon basics camera bag that costs $18 So yes, this is a camera bag which means it's meant primarily for cameras But if you know camera bags, you'd know that they're very versatile They're very customizable because a lot of people have different size cameras different size lenses different size accessories and stuff like that So I've actually had this for a long long time and I've been using it quite a bit So when I was thinking about a case that can carry all of your Nintendo switch stuff then I said, this is the bag to get. It costs less than 20 bucks, and let me show you why this is my recommendation. So upon flipping the top open, you will see, aside from this really bright orange interior, you will get these two dividers. Now they're attached here with Velcro, which means you can take them off and move them to whatever position you want, and I move this one to fit the Nintendo Switch dock. Now from here, you can just load it up with whatever you need. Of course, you're gonna need an HDMI cable, you're going to need the dock power adapter. You can even fit that anchor power bank, the type C to type C cable. And on top of that, you still have space for accessories. So if you have an extra pair of joy cons or you have a pro controller, you can fit that in here. No problem. Now on the other side of that divider, you're going to find the perfect amount of room for the Satachi R1 stand or pretty much any other stand that you're going to pick up. And finally, the back slot here has the perfect amount of room for the Nintendo switch with the joy cons on. Now at first I was a little weary because if you put the switch in there with the joy cons on, the joysticks will be pressed up against the side but if you place it in there properly you can actually pull the side out here so that the joysticks can sit where they're supposed to sit when not in use so as not to damage the joysticks and mess with your OCD and even with all the stuff in there you still have space so you actually have this top slot here so if you have a card case a game card case you can stick that in there or if you have some extra things it actually has this extra front pocket as well so you can put more cables more accessories all that good stuff for under 20 bucks this is probably the best switch case that 
that I can think of actually right now. So if you're a camera person, I highly recommend picking this up. But if you're also a switch person, I also recommend picking this up. So multiple uses here with this bag and it's perfect in my opinion for the Nintendo Switch. That pretty much does it for my recommendations as far as Nintendo Switch accessories. I'll list all of these down below in the description. Make sure you check them out. I'll also go ahead and list a few honorable mentions, some things that I wasn't actually able to feature in this show uh, for a couple of different reasons, probably main one being they're not even out yet or they're, they just won't ship for another two to four weeks. So I'll list those down there as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That does it for me. I'll talk to you guys in the next video and thank you so much for watching. Easy.